Hi, I'm Chris Schaefer. I'm here today on Tuesday, March 25th with the first of two What About the ACGME survey videos. Today we're going to be talking about faculty and evaluations, two topics dear to my heart. First, about the faculty. There are two questions on the survey that are sometimes confusing uh, in regards to the faculty. The first question is about faculty support of resident education, and the second question is do faculty create an environment of inquiry um, and investigation? These questions, these two related questions, do not refer to every single faculty member and staff that you might meet in your hospital rotations. These questions actually refer to what we call our key or core faculty. So who are those people? Um, those people are the faculty that spend at least 10 hours a week working with residents. So when you're thinking about uh, faculty and supportive research and inquiry and education, think about Dr. Page in cardiology. Think about Dr. Chowdhury in endocrinology. Think about Dr. Lessie and Dr. Russo in infectious disease. Dr. Panasar in nephrology. Dr. El Sol in uh, pulmonary and critical care. Dr. Case in palliative care. And on the GIM side, think about Dr. Schiffling at Buffalo General, Dr. McDesey here at ECMC, Dr. Diaz at Hurdle Avenue. And, and what we want to know is, is are our key faculty, these faculty, are they supportive of your education, uh, helping uh, form and ask questions? Um, not every single faculty that you meet. That's, who the, that's what the faculty in, in these questions refers to. Part two. Um, evaluations. So two questions in the evaluation section come up uh, often. One is, does the program use resident feedback to make changes in the program? Elise and I um, are constantly trying to improve the program and your feedback is the most important part of how we do that. So to talk about some changes we've made in the last few years, uh, one of the first changes we made based on resident feedback was getting rid of the Friday morning clinic. Yes, that's right. You used to go to clinic while you were on night float on Friday morning. It was the most hated rotation in the whole program. I heard that message and we got rid of it. Speaking of the schedule, um, our PGY3s told us that it was very stressful trying to make a transition to a fellowship or a job if they were working right up until the end. So what did we do? we changed the schedule so they had a week of vacation at the end of their year. Um, in terms of resources, we got a lot of feedback in the last couple years about wanting increased resident resources. This year alone, we're going to spend $12,000 on mix-ups because our residents told us they wanted more resources, not just as a two or a three, but as a one. So this year we're buying mix app for both ones and twos. Um, last year, we sent 16. We helped send 16 residents to conferences around the country. It's a $400 stipend um, to help support uh, a conference, as long as you're the author, one of the authors and you send me a photograph of yourself in front of your poster. Speaking of spending money, we also upgraded the IT equipment at the VA, including the television and computer there, after we got resident feedback that the equipment wasn't uh, up to par. So we're always making changes, we want your feedback, and we use your feedback to improve the program. And I'd like you to keep these things in mind when you answer the questions on the survey. You'll be getting directions on how to uh, complete the survey this week from Elise. Please be on the lookout for that. And as always, once we hit 90% uh, participation, uh, we'll have some pizzas delivered to all the hospital sites. So thanks very much, and um, we'll talk to you again tomorrow.